Welcome. Thank you for uh, coming on the show. I appreciate it. Congrats on. No, thank you, Jimmy. Congrats on Roseanne. I mean, I, I know, know you are right? Roseanne, but congrats. I mean, uh, it was one of the was it 20 million people or something? And one, I mean, there was a giant. Um, hit. 27. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Yeah, let's get the number right. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I mean, it's the biggest thing ever. It's did, so awesome. Did it's... you did you expect that response? Um, no, because I I never have expectations. I just, I just have hopes. Yeah. And, uh, you know, but I was blown away. And, um, you know, I think people just identify with the family and they missed them. They missed the family. Yeah, there's even something, even this, the couch is kind of yeah. <laughs> like comfort food. When you see right. the Roseanne couch, you go, oh, yeah, I know We this. had to rebuild everything because they threw it out because we didn't think we'd ever come back. So they re, uh, what do you call it, replicated all of it yeah. down to the wallpaper and everything. And they did a great job. Wow. Did it feel weird going back on the set? Yeah, it was like we all felt like it, uh, no time had passed at all, like that maybe we had a month off and it was 21 years. But <laughs> it just all clicked and it was just like being home. Yeah, I mean, yeah. well, well it's, it couldn't be a bigger thing. Uh, uh, but then also with a big hit comes people that aren't so happy as well. If you say that you're a supporter of Donald Trump or... Oh, yeah, people are mad about that. Yeah. But, you know, I don't give a... <laughs> Yeah. I mean, is that how you I deal mean, with it? I mean, everybody has to, well, everybody had to choose for themselves, according to their own conscience, sure. who they thought was the lesser of two evils. You know, everybody chose that, so I'm not going to put anybody down who didn't vote like me. This is America. It's a free country, and, you know, when you uh, weigh it all together, you know, I just think, I just felt like we needed a whole new thing all the way, bottom to top. Yeah, and you did, you changed it up. I mean, do, but you're now doing stand-up again, right? I am. Congrats. That, are you excited about doing that again? Um, do you have any stories? I just toured Canada, which, you know, was fun. Yeah, Canada's Canadians, beautiful, yeah. Canadians, high Canadians. We allow 10 to 12 Canadians per show. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they told me, um, I said, is it going to be warm in Canada in April? Because I live in Hawaii, you know, so... And they said, oh, it's a wonderful spring thing. And it was like 90 below or something. <laughs> ice, these big chunks of ice were coming out of our car. And I got really sick, you know, because I haven't been in snow for almost 30 years. So it was freaky. But, you know, I just felt like, well, you got to do what's given to you. So I just did it, you know. Yeah. So you got your start, I would say, on The Tonight Show. Oh, yeah. With Johnny yeah. Carson, oh, the yeah. great Johnny Carson. Here's the a photo great Johnny Carson. of you from ni uh, 1985. Oh, look at that. I mean, <laughs> what do you remember? That's fantastic. What do you, what do you, what do you remember about it? I remember, well, I remember about this here that I tried to get a hip haircut because my hair looked like crap. So I went to a Hollywood or, you know, uh, hairdo place. And they give me a mullet, <laughs> which I hated. Yeah. And I couldn't find anything in a, you know, my size to wear at the store. So I got this thing. It looks like a couch. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's just like culture shock going to California. But the most thing I remember is, of course, Johnny Carson, because I, I dreamed of that all my life. My dad used to let me stay up if I did my homework to watch Johnny Carson's monologue. Absolutely. And it was just such, uh, you know, an integral part of my life and there I was doing it you know it and was where crazy. was he to you like was he to the right of you or to the left of you um I was like right there and he's like how you are yeah. you know to the right what is that right yeah, to the yeah. right yeah yeah okay. and I was just like oh my god that was way before they invented poise pads and adult diapers <laughs> so I was like oh my god you know I was just so scared yeah but, uh, now, yeah you, know, we, you don't do adult, adult diapers now though. oh yeah <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. I'm coming out with my own line of adult diapers. <laughs> you are? Yeah. I think it's going to be a big hit for me because I want to do this branding like Kris Jenner and all them, you know. Yeah, smart. I think it's going to be a big hit for me. Look for them in the stores. It's called You're In Luck. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's going to be a big hit. That's not bad. I would... <laughs> Uh, I love it's it. true, though. Uh, I'm but, old, so, you know. But after... No, please, you look fantastic. Oh, you're way. sweet. Thanks. Uh, you, 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 do, you do your set on The Tonight Show, Johnny Carson. He calls you over to the couch. Yeah, he goes like this, and I'm like, oh, hell no. Because uh, that wasn't planned, right? No. And I just was already just panicking so bad. And I was like, I just ran. I ran out, you know. You did? And, uh, 
the, he said, well, he said, he made a remark about it. And then the next time I was on, they came to my dressing room and they're like, Johnny really wants you to, after you're done, to go sit with him and this and that and don't run out. And uh, yeah. so I'm like, oh my God. And I was a babbling idiot. Oh no. I was just a babbling idiot. All, all I could say was, thank you, Mr. Carson. Thank you, Mr. Carson. <laughs> He'd like ask me questions. He, like usually I'd have a joke or something, but yeah. I was, thank you, Mr. Carson. Well, that's nice though. Respect. And it was really crazy because I'd only been in LA about two weeks when I got the Tonight Show. And wow. then on my first or second Tonight Show, Julio Iglesias was the guest also, and he invited me to tour with him for 18 weeks. And I was just a housewife then, and my husband worked at the post office, but that took off my career, you know, took off, and then I got the Roseanne show off of that tour. Holy so it was like, it was like the next year. Isn't that it, amazing? It was. I, I'm, you know, thank God. Yeah, that's fantastic. Wow, that's a great story. But then you... It goes on to be one of the greatest shows ever. Thank uh, for, you. For uh, almost 10 years, 10 seasons or whatever. Yeah, and then... it was nine. This was our 10th season that we just, the one that's on now, we're ever... calling it our 10th season. Did you ever think it would, be, it would come back? I, I didn't think that I would do it, you know, because I thought, I don't know, I'm tired and old. <laughs> and, uh, then, then you crushed it, yeah. And then Sarah Gilbert and John Goodman did a sketch on her talk show. And uh, she called me, and because it got like 10 million hits or some, but something, yeah. people liked it. And Sarah called up, and she goes, uh, "Would you want to do three? First, it was a reunion show, and I said, "Yeah, definitely a reunion show." Then it was like, "Would you want to do three? So I'm like, "Yeah." Then it was, "Do you want to do nine? And I said, "Yeah." And you know, because I'm working with just the funniest, most fun. People that I love so much. So. Great people. I know behind yeah. the scenes Morgan Murphy, I love. I yeah, love, isn't uh, she great? Whitney Cummings, I love. Uh, Norm MacDonald. Love was, Norm. I mean, always love Norm. Was Norm one of the Wanda original? Sykes. Wanda Sykes is on as well. Oh, God, I mean, that's all stars. It, it was a blast. It was the most fun I've ever had. I just can't believe it. I feel so lucky. Well, clearly uh, you hit a nerve. Everyone uh, loves to watch you. And well, uh, our next show is, uh, you know, our next few shows are like going to be. It gets better and better every week, so I can't wait till people see the next few shows. And can I plug where I'm at? Of course you can. Okay, well, I'm going to do stand-up May 17th at, um... <laughs> no, no. I know. I don't can't remember anything. MGM National like... Harbor, D.C. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah. MGM National Harbor, <laughs> I can do that for you. I remember when I was on The Tonight Show, I wrote all my jokes on my hand, too. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for coming. Roseanne Thank Barr, you, everybody. Bye. On and on and on, uh, I said, and it's on and on and on.